We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. It's Sunday afternoon, I should be making tea just now, but I wanted to come out here and gush about a mod instead. Because that's kind of what you do in a Sunday afternoon. Anyway, uh, last year uh, I gushed over a mod from Sub Monkey in Italy, and it was the Alu Mask side by side, die codes board inside, and it was stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'll put a link for it at the end of this video. Now he also does a squonker called the MK60 and it's very nice. I'm going to gush. I'll warn you now, I'm going to gush about this. Um, I'll give you all the technical spec and all the good information and I'll let you know what I think outside gushing at the end of this video. But here we go, close-ups. Now packaging wise it comes in much the same box as the Alu mask did but uh, once again we've got a little slider here pull that out we'll have one certificate telling you what the mod is when it was made and all that good information and you can see here that it states this is the black leaf version now there are other ones there's engraved ones non-engraved ones uh, there's quite a few and you'll see them in the Facebook group uh, but uh, yes this is the leaf that I have here I might as well just do this properly and there we go. This is tiny. Now, I just want to make it, this is a single 18650 squonker. It's got a die codes board inside it. And it's. I've got make squonkers that are uh, bigger than this. And uh, it's just. <laughs> don't start gushing. Don't start gushing. In the bottom of the box, you're going to find uh, some. You know, your squonk bottle would have come in this. This is who makes the bottle. I'm pretty sure it's 7 milliliter capacity. It's a Mod Dog 510 and as such you always get the spare o-ring. This is one that you manually adjust, it's not spring loaded. And because it's die codes board inside you get a little bit of the die codes wire also. I just want to give you some of the sizes here. I mean this is just under 75 millimeters in height. We're looking just under 43 millimeters across. And up the top at its widest I'm looking at 27.26 there. Uh, I will point out you can see that the 510 is offset. It's not centered, it's not bang in the middle, it's offset here. I would say ideally this is really for 22 millimeter atties. Uh, but uh, right, here we go. So this is a 3D printed mod. You're looking at nylon, it's a PE12. And he says here it's got a touch resistant dyeing finish. We've got our firing button up here, our up and down buttons here, and obviously we've got our die codes board here. Excuse me, I have some fingerprints on there. You can see where the, the, the leaf design, you know, you've got your veins for the leaf running through this entire mod, and it's very well done. And once again, it's got the Sub Monkey logos going on here. You've got it up here as well. If we look on the bottom, we've got Mask 60 on a little, I think it's a little aluminium plate down there. We've got the two cutouts here, which actually serve a purpose. Squonk window here, right in the side, and it's perfect for a right-handed firer. And it actually works well left-handed firing, but not so much on the squonk side if you're left-handed. But right-handed, absolutely bang on. Now, uh, to get into this, you slide this down like so, and this will come off. And you have two runners, you've got runners here and here. You can see that they go actually in there and underneath here. Uh, it's all silver, pure silver contacts. The wiring is pure silver as well, and it's all done in Italy. The only thing not Italian on this is the German board inside. Uh, Magnets running along the bottom holds the door in place, but uh, I've had no issues with movement, no wiggle from the door either. Perfect fitment on this. You can see here that we have a divider. There is a bit of, you know, this is quite got a bit of flex on it. It's very, very thin, this divider. But I must admit, I'm glad it's there rather than not being there because it's nice keeping the two compartments separate. It clearly states the direction for the battery there. So positive up the top. I have a Molly cell here and that just pops in no problem. Now, getting the battery out, you can see here, there's your cutouts. All we do, and I'm sorry, this might be a bit cack handed here. I just stick my thumbs in there and then just roll up and the battery just comes out dead easy. I mean, it's obviously black battery wraps look better. In fact, hang on just a second, black battery, pop that in, and there you go. That looks so much better. 
we'll just get that text out of the way and that's that the bottle is is is, is it's okay it, it's okay it, it squonks well it's got one of these ones um that i'm always not a fan of you see the collar to you know the whole thing kind of like spins you know when I, I turn that there and to get the collar the bottom collar to stay in place when you're turning this it is a bit of a fiddly little thing but it's not leaked i've not had any issues with it so i can just pop that in there i've just already filled this up it goes on no bother and that pops in there battery door you have to make sure that you get your your runners if you like located properly uh, and then just put that down up she goes and that's it there's no wiggle going on there no nothing and you can see that the we're already good to go. Now as far as the, I've no idea how you got the board in here, uh, but you can see there's a, a flap here. Now this is actually, there's dods of glue underneath here that holds this whole front place and front plate in place. And uh, yes, I have pinged it up and I have had a look underneath here and the wiring and everything inside this is sublime. He's done an amazing job on it and I am very, very impressed. Just to give you a comparison with something, I mean, there's a, a Delro there. Um, I, I know not everybody has a Delro, but it's like, I mean, this is smaller than a billet box, and this is slightly smaller again. Uh, but it's, it's just to give you a comparison against something, I suppose. The only other thing I can think of giving you a comparison against is a single 18650 battery. And hopefully that gives you an idea of the size. It is the, the, the smallest regulated squonker I've come across. And it is really, really well made. Nah, I'm going to record that again. I'm recording this summary again because I do gush sometimes. And, I, and, and that's where I gush. It was up here. I was gushing away up past here. I need to tone it down a little bit. So here we go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to gush again. Okay, um, for me, my tastes, what I like and what I want from a squonker, this ticks all the boxes, all the boxes. And I, I just think because it's so small and it's still got a seven mil capacity bottle in there, uh, with a, a Dyco's BF60, um, I, I, th I find it amazing for the size of it. The internals, all the silver wiring, the silver contacts, the engraving, the leaf design on this is just tick, 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 tick. Um, cons. What, what can I give you for cons? Um, for some people, some people, you may not like the the off center. You know the 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 five ten being off there. Um, that could be a con for some people. Uh, for me, it doesn't bother me. Uh, once again, I I will get a twenty four mil beauty ring on here with a fraction of an overhang. It's not noticeable as such, but I know it's there. Just a twenty two mil atty looks best in my opinion um, squonking for a right handed squonker is just perfect it pushes the squonk bottle it doesn't it's a normal squonker it doesn't put loads of juice in there um, firing with my right my left hand sorry is also comfortable um, but squonking isn't you really want to squonk with your right hand in this one uh, the buttons the big firing button here works a treat um, the battery system, uh, you know, the fact that he's got that design in there, which looks really nice with a black battery wrap, but to get that battery out, you just spin it up like that and the battery just pops out. It's very, very clever. I like it. Um, <laughs> if you like the look of this, go buy one. If it's one, like I say, it's one of the smallest regulated squonkers I've come across, and and it's finished oh so well. Uh, Francesco makes stunning mods. He really does stunning mods, and, and I best stop. Uh, pricing is I am quite surprised by the pricing uh, when I found out because I thought it was going to be a lot more uh, but I think for a Dyco's BF60 7mm capacity and this size and the the level of work in it is I think it's priced very very well um, I best stop
Is there anything else that I can think con-wise? It's a Facebook group. Obviously, you have to go and join a Facebook group. Um, uh, there may be import fees depending where you live in the world. Uh, but that is about, I'm going to have a vape. Shut up. That's it. God, I love this thing. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Uh, Francesco, thank you so, so much for sending this on. To you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you're at all interested, go and join the Facebook group. Don't take my word for it, because I know I am gushing here. See what other people are saying and, and take it from there. And speak to Francesco. He's uh, very approachable and he will answer any of your questions. But that's it. Best go. Have a lovely, lovely evening. And until next time, bye for now.